A Denver man shot earlier this month has now learned he may never walk again. Denver 7's Patrick Perez spoke with him from his hospital bed. In just seconds, Thomas Young's life was forever changed. I went from being, you know, a regular 30-year-old guy, athletic, riding a bike everywhere, um, and now I can't feel anything below my waist. He was walking near the corner of East Colfax in North Lafayette on the night of August 17th when a group of men robbed and shot him. And I didn't get but two blocks away from home before um, these men approached me. The suspects left Thomas lying on the pavement bleeding. At first, he thought someone had lit a firecracker. It's that weird, warm, wet sensation that I realized that I was shot. The robbery and shooting were part of a larger crime spree that lasted almost two hours and stretched across Denver. It ended with the shooting death of 18-year-old Shmuel Silverberg as he was leaving this Jewish school. Denver police have arrested five men just 18 to 21 years old. They say committed the crimes. I just want to get better. I want to like, I want to beat this. Thomas has been recovering at Denver Health since the shooting. That recovery, according to his doctors, will likely include spending the rest of his life in a wheelchair. I'm just trying to keep a positive, a positive spin on things. Thomas's family, including his fiance, Derek. He's been my rock when, you know, when I, when I want to start crying. By his side, ready to support him. As of Monday afternoon, a GoFundMe to help with his medical expenses had raised more than $22,000. Just that outreach, it's, it's, it's amazing and it, it, it makes me cry. But he wants something else, an apology from the suspects. Just realize like what their actions have done. For the pain and the challenges that still lie ahead. Patrick Perez, Denver 7. Definitely deserves one. Thomas says he may get transferred to a rehab facility next week where he'll spend about two months learning how to do basically everything again. We've included a link to his GoFundMe account on the DenverChannel.com.